Chinese rocket company Landspace is ready to take on Elon Musk and SpaceX. Earlier this month, the startup based in Beijing became the first in the country to test a reusable launcher. It aims to give China a cheap way to launch thousands of planned satellites. Landspace's Ju-283 successfully blasted off, but the booster failed to land safely, crashing after a problem during the landing burn. Despite the failure, the test energized China's space industry, long dominated by cautious state-owned companies. Landspace's leadership is clear about studying SpaceX. In an interview, Deputy Chief Designer Dong Kai called the U.S. firm's Falcon 9 a successful configuration that has been tested by engineering. He said that studying it was learning, not imitation. The Ju-283 takes features from SpaceX's giant starship and applies them to its smaller rocket. That includes using a mix of methane and liquid oxygen for fuel. Such developments help cut launch costs, though the biggest savings result from reusing the main booster stage. All this has caught the attention of Elon Musk. He says Landspace's rocket should outperform his Falcon 9, though he said SpaceX's giant starship was in another league. Traditionally, China's government space program has avoided public failures, unlike SpaceX, which openly shares its tests. But this month, state media covered two failed reusable rocket tests. The second was by a state-owned company just weeks after the Ju-23 flight. Landspace also opened its engine factory to foreign reporters for the first time. Now it's ready to sell shares to the public to raise money for future work, just like its much bigger and more successful U.S. rival is thinking about doing. And the Chinese firm isn't offended by comparisons. Designer Dong Kai says calling his rocket a Chinese Falcon 9 is a very high compliment. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing. <laughs>